Hey guys, you know, I was thinking something very interesting just now. Now, we all know about the Bud Light fiasco, right? The big Bud Light boycott, and the Target boycott, and probably baseball boycott, right? Well, how about race, racism, and racist? Can we begin a boycott on them? Give race, racism, and racist, give all of that the Bud, give them the Bud Light syndrome. And you know, if they did that, racism would disappear. I mean, and I'm not talking about just on TV and they have somebody talking with, let's say, a moderator, whatever the case may be. And then the guest starts talking about race. And then, um, it seems we lost our feed. Uh, we will see if we can get him back. Uh, I want to talk about race. And everybody starts walking out the door. Let's reject race, racism, and racism with a big, huge, Bud Light syndrome boycott. Why not? Why not? I would love a legitimate, logical, understandable reason why not. Oh, because systemic, systemic boy, uh, racism exists. Uh, excuse me, I don't want to hear from you. Okay, you talked enough. Okay, it may be a little bit like uh, fascism, but not when we're trying to do the better good. I mean, the whole Bud Light boycott isn't fascism, is it? I think we should all reject it. All reject discussing race. Reject it. Reject it, discard it. If anybody starts talking about it, boycott it. Give them the Bud Light Syndrome. That's what we should do. Give racism, race and racist, all the Bud Light Syndrome. and keep it up. Though it hasn't an experiment for one day. Uh, we'll experiment it for one day. No. You gotta be at it. Just like the Bud Light was at it for a long time, right? It went on for months. I'm calling for the same thing for racism and racist and race. Give them a Bud Light syndrome. that as soon as somebody starts talking about racism 